The evils of polygyny, evidence of its harm to women, men, and society. Why do men act violently toward women? What are the consequences of normal violence, not only for women and children, but also for the men who instigate it, and for the societies that sanction it? The evils of polygyny examines one powerful structural factor that instigates, enforces, and replicates patterns of male dominance. The practice of polygyny. For more than a decade's worth of study, Rose McDermott has produced a book that uncovers the violent impact of polygyny on women, children, and the nation-state, and adds fundamentally to the burgeoning focus on gender concerns in political psychology and international relations. Integrating these fields, as well as domestic policy and human rights, the author urges us to address the question of violence toward women and children. If we do not, a system that tells young women they must marry whom their elders dictate and devote their entire lives to serving others, will continue to plague the contemporary world and restrict development. The timely nature of McDermott's book reflects the mission of the East and lectures at the Interdisciplinary Center for the Scientific Study of Ethics and Morality at the University of California, Irvine, which charges its lecturers to produce work that is creative, controversial, and cutting-edge, and offers substantial real-world impact. The Evils of Polygyny, edited by Kristen Renwick Monroe, includes commentary from Valerie Hudson, Robert Jervis, and B.J. Ray. The book provides a coherent analysis of sexual violence and a provocative and chilling analysis of one of the major problems of the contemporary world. Reviews. The Evils of Polygyny is important for our society and the world. I do hope it will be read and taken seriously by policymakers. McDermott and Monroe have provided an important piece on an emerging discussion on the societal and political consequences of gender inequality that is well overdue. Casey Klofsted, Associate Professor of Political Science, University of Miami. McDermott's book is provocative and presents an argument of great importance for prescribing novel political policies to quell violence within and between nations. The evils of polygyny pushes beyond traditional clash of civilizations explanations for violence between and within nations to focus on the role of how women are treated. Marijke Bruning, Professor of Political Science, University of North Texas. This book is a worthy successor to David Easton's scholarship. Rose McDermott and her co-authors combine his insistence on scientific rigor with his commitment to social change. Kristen Monroe and her colleagues chose wisely. Judy Bear, Texas A&M University. The Evils of Polygyny is excellent, timely, and valuable. Using rigorous methodology across a number of disciplines, the analysis is accessible to anyone interested in the social impact of polygyny. This book is a must-read. The Right Honorable Kim Campbell, Canada's 19th Prime Minister. The author, Rose McDermott, is the principal expert relied upon in the British Columbia polygamy reference case of 2011. It was her original cross-national analysis, performed for the court case, that so impressed the judge and led to the ruling that no matter who practices it or for what reason, polygyny harms women, children, men, and society. If you are researching polygyny or polygamy, this is a must-read and must-cite work. A monumental achievement and a milestone in jurisprudence on the issue, as it will affect not only Canadian law, but international law, for the foreseeable future.